And welcome back. The Western Conference Finals continued in Kearney uh, last night, and the herd had a chance to really make life difficult for the Storm. The Stampede won that first game a couple of nights ago, 3 0 on the road, which kind of put them in the driver's seat before last night in the best of five series. However, they fell behind last night. Philip Forsmark gives the Storm the lead after one period that made it 1 0 in favor of the home team until late in the second period when the uh, Stampede finally get on the board. Carl Berglund, the first goal at 17.01 of the second period. That lights the lamp. You can see the referee saying it's a good goal. That makes it 1-1. And just 18 seconds later for the lead, Andre Lee scores. He's been really good all year long. Their top two scorers all year haven't even scored in the playoffs. Have not scored a goal. And look where they're at. Uh, Jason Stauber was really good last night. He had 29 saves, stopping all but that one early shot that you saw. And then how about Max Crozier, the defenseman? He's been really good, too. This is a, a goal that puts him up 3-1 on the third. They go on to win. 4-1 to was your final score. That means they play back at the Denny tomorrow night. So the herd drove home through the night and got back about 4 this morning. Now, normally that would be a dreadful drive. But when you won both games, it's not so bad. Heard coach Scott Owens and his players understandably upbeat this afternoon. We know we can beat anyone, and I feel like they're just pretty overconfident, and they just they just won the Anderson Cup, and they're feeling like they could just come come show up and beat us. And uh, when we're working and we're going, we have so much depth that it doesn't matter. Uh, we can beat anyone. I just think we are in a little bit of good rhythm. You know, we're in good form coming off of that tough Waterloo series. I think we're in a pretty good place. And I thought, I thought it was evident, it came through. 